seeding. Yeah. You've got yesterday versus today. Which wins out on the forecast front? Huh? Who For takes me, the it would be today title. because yeah? I want to go to the beach and it'll be warmer on the beach today than it was yesterday. Oh, man. Right That's oh, true. Man. Oh, Just man, a little Barry. bit warmer, yeah. It was, uh, maybe some people are thinking it was a little bit too cool yesterday, 75 degrees at the beaches. But you're right, Anna Rissa, it is going to be warmer today by about three to five degrees uh, higher at the uh, coastline. Meantime, let's look at Fenway Park. How does that look? They had the concert the other night, Friday night. Luke Bryan in town, big concert then. But since then, they've got the field all ready for Red Sox to be back in town. And they'll be back starting tomorrow for uh, seven games. And the first three are with the Rangers, then the Blue Jays are in for four after that. So for tomorrow night, the, the first three games are all at 710. So it should be around 81 at first pitch. More humid, but not oppressive, a balmy breeze out there. And then for Tuesday night's game, just a slight chance of a thunderstorm coming down from the north, about 84, and it will be humid, but again, not oppressive. Then it will be cooler on Wednesday night, around 73 at first pitch with that cooler ocean breeze, but not a strong wind. So here's what we're looking at in terms of temperatures now. They're getting into the 60s. After starting out this morning in the 50s, even a few upper 40s, these are the temperatures across the North American continent. Starting out early this morning in Phoenix at a whopping 89 degrees, they'll be up around 110 to 212 for highs there th this afternoon. Up in Canada, looking at the 40s now, and much of uh, interior uh, central Canada, Baker Lake, 43, and we're looking at uh, 68 in Moosonee. So it's a little bit of warm air coming up, uh, sort, of, sort of shooting up towards Hudson Bay ahead of an approaching cold front. That's the front which may cause a couple of thunderstorms here in northern New England Tuesday afternoon and perhaps down into southern New England Tuesday evening. So for beach and boating today, for Anna Ritis and everybody else, it's going to be a good afternoon. 78 there or so with an east-southeast, a southerly breeze at 5 to 15, the breeze coming right in from the ocean. Now the water temperatures, have cool, the water's gone a little bit cooler in the last couple of days. Still okay, still nice uh, for swimming, not as warm as it was just a few days ago in the middle of that heat wave. We had a sort of strong offshore wind. It was sort of pushed some of the warmer weather out. Uh, water out to sea, the, at least the surface water, but that'll be warming up the next few days. So we're basically still in the 60s to lower 70s, but not quite as warm as it was. So upper 70s at the coast, middle 80s uh, away from the ocean, and then we got heat building up through the central plains over 90 degrees, and that'll be coming back, maybe nudging 90 tomorrow. But we're watching Tropical Storm Chris, newly formed this morning. Chris was born this morning, is holding about stationary centered about 150 miles south of Cape Hatteras. Winds of 40 miles an hour only, but conditions are becoming more favorable for this to develop. Where will it go at this point? The National Hurricane Center feels that eventually it's gonna to start to take off and move about like that and move southeast of New England, but that'll be close enough pass to generate the waves and the, uh, the surf along the New England coastline and potential for rip currents. These will be your lows tonight, not as cool as last night, upper 50s to middle 60s, and these will be your high temperatures tomorrow. Back up, nudging 90 in Boston, lower 90s northwest, 80s southeast to near 80 on Cape Cod. And for the next seven days, there you have it. A couple of hot days and more humid, certainly on Tuesday, but not oppressive. Slightly drier air in the 80s on Wednesday and Thursday, but cool at the coast in the 70s. Maybe hot again next weekend. All right, Barry, thank you.